During the annual Commission on the Status of Women, the largest political event for the rights and empowerment of women and girls, a special session at the United Nations examined the prevalence of gender-based violence in the Caribbean region. The entire world is impacted by the scourge of gender-based violence and we have to be able to address it and to eradicate it. If not, it's going to be to our end. The Caribbean are countries with a lot of capacities, but as m many other countries from the region of Latin America and the, and the Caribbean, we face a lot of uh, problems and, and, and a culture that sometimes imposes us the need to work at the root causes of the violence. Gender-based violence impacts the children who are in the home. It leads to widening arenas of violence and really destroys the fabric of the society. Caribbean women are the most wonderful, wonderful um, individuals that are hardworking and um, they're just so welcoming and just so, such um, amazing human beings, you know, and they deserve to have a chance to, to talk about the issues that they go through. Historically a complex and thorny issue, attendees at the meeting nonetheless urged major action from governments and social institutions to address violence in all its forms. The family circumstance and the education at schools is a fundamental issue because if you get the children a, the, a chance to work and to, to grow with a different framework, mental framework regarding ma women's role, male's role, their relationship among themselves, we are building for the future. Gender-based violence is really a symptom of a much deeper problem that we have and it's not, it, it doesn't just impact the Caribbean, it impacts the world. Women's rights and empowerment have taken center stage not only at CSW but also as part of the broader United Nations Sustainable Development Agenda. I think uh, gender equality will be key if we are serious about Agenda 2030. We cannot have a transformative uh, agenda if we really want to achieve results with 50% of uh, the world's population not having the same rights as the other 50 percent. It is something that we must address and continue to address. We must not let up until we are able to uh, eliminate it and eradicate it from, from us. That's the only way we are going to be able to develop you know, as a, as a Caribbean and as a country and as a world. With greater awareness on this sensitive yet important subject, action against gender-based violence can now become a priority for governments, societies and families across the Caribbean and of course around the world. Reporting from the United Nations, Brendan Pastor for American Television News.